watch that. <laughs> Being in Manila is walk, like walking through a hurricane. It's crazy. Man, there are people everywhere walking on you, around you, in front of you, behind you. You go to a mall. Of course, Christmas time is probably a, a little different, but man, there's just you know, people everywhere, man. And, uh, yeah. and the taxi drivers, they're trying to make theirs, man. You know, they add on to the meter, oh, it's getting a grab, it's crazy. I was doing some reading in the... Hard to, to take the grab. Oh, it's almost impossible to get a grab. So, anyway. Yeah, a little Arabic food, we're in an Arabic area. I thought we'd try a little Arabic food, so we'll see how that goes. But anyways, it's fun though. It's, I wouldn't want to live here, but it's a good place to come visit and hang out a little bit. So. Ayan guys, nag-order na kami ng salad, tapos kamosh, uh, tapos kudus. So, alam niyo na yan, pag Arabic food, favorite niya yan. Anak na nga anak kami kanina. Pupunta sana kami sa Manila, Manila Bay, guys. Uh, kasi nakikita namin maganda yung kasi yung ano, yung maganda yung picture sa may display ng mga dagat, super ganda. Tapos pagpunta namin dito para renovation, wala. Tapos napilitan kami naglakad papuntang Robinson. Tapos uh, natatakot yung asawa ko kasi Ang dami ng mga sa kanya mga bata humihingi ng pera, di ba? Alam mo na dito sa Malate. Andito kami ngayon sa Malate, sa Robinson na Malate. Super busy sa sobrang Christmas. Tapos nagugulat siya ng mga ibang mga taxi. Puro mahalang singer dahil siguro nakikita siya na isa siyang puti. Kaya ganun na lang ang mga, ano, ng mga driver taxi. Tapos pagbook ka naman ng Grab. Ang mahal na yung Grab. Ang hirap pa mat makakuha ng crabs. Super, super talaga difficult job this time dito sa Maynila. Dahil siguro sa Christmas, uh, siguro pag nakapunta kami ng Cebu or Dabao, uh, nag-straight kami doon, siguro hindi ganito ka busy. So, sobrang gulat siya. Ganito daw ang Manila. Sabi ko, malayong malayo kasi sa Malaysia. So, tingnan mo ngayon, kumakain na siya. Wala na siyang pakialam. <laughs> You guys, kauwi lang namin from the morning, pumunta kami ng El Meetup. Uh, balak namin pupunta ng Manila Bay kasi ang ganda kasi sa picture kasi sabi ng asawa ko, uh, malaki daw ang mga malawak daw yung beach. So, puntahan daw namin. Tapos pumunta kami doon. Tapos, uh, siyempre, ang malayo, di ba? Tapos halos na uh, na double yung ano namin yung yung pamasahe kasi alam niyo na yung mga taxi ihingi ang yung sa Grab na 500 pupunta doon tapos yung taxi hihingi ng mga 800 so so okay lang naman kasi sabi ng asawa ko sige uh, bigyan na natin pang Christmas so, sabi niya okay lang tapos pagdating namin doon wala kang makita kasi ni-renovate nila yung mga daan so sinara nila so parang nag-waste ng money at saka time pagpunta namin doon. 
Tapos sabi ko, let's go na lang, uh, punta, na, punta na lang tayo sa Robinson, as I remember dati, sabi ko meron Robinson malapit dito. Kung natatandaan ko yun, after like 20 years na. Tapos sabi niya, sige, uh, puntahan natin. Tapos ang layo ng nilakad namin. Tapos ang daming bata humahabol, humihingi ng pera. Alam niyo, natakot yung asawa ko. Sabi niya, ganito ba dito? Sabi ko, uh, alam, alam mo na yung lugar ko. Sabi ko, ganyan. Alam niyo na, alam mo na yung pinakaramihan yung mga kabataan, di ba? Maraming mga bata humihingi ng pera, humalo. Tapos ganito pa ha. Pagbigyan mo ng 20 pesos, 10 pesos. Ayaw nila ha, sila yung magpipreso na pagbibigyan mo ng pera. <laughs> Nakakatawa talaga. Tapos, ayun, uh, tapos ang hirap maghanap ng taxi pagpunta namin doon. And then, kumain pa kami. Naghanap kami ng Arab restaurant. Alam nyo na yung asawa ko, favorite niya yung, yung Arab food, di ba? Tapos, pero guys, alam nyo, parang mahirap na mabuhay dito sa Pilipinas pag wala kang magandang trabaho. Ang mamahal, alam nyo, magkano lang, uh, ilan lang in order namin para sabi ko mag-share na lang tayo. Kasi baka mamaya makabayad tayo ng sobra na naman. Hindi rin kami nagkamali, halos, halos i, isang platong shell na kanin lang ang in-order namin. Tapos isang kebab, parang limang pirasong, limang hiwa na small chicken, tandoori. Tapos salad, yun. Nakabayad kami halos 2,000 pesos. Sobra, sobrang mahal. Sabi ko ngayon, sabi ko, hindi, hindi na lang ako kakain sa labas kasi napakamahal kahit kakain tayo sa kahit kakain tayo sa gilid-gilid napakamahal. Sobra talaga dito sa Maynila. Parang na surprise talaga ako ng presyo. Tapos ang ginawa namin, pumunta na lang kami ng ibang mall. Umalis kami doon sa Robinson. Tapos ang hirap pa rin maghanap ng taxi, yung ibang taxi. Hingian kami ng 1,000 pabalik dito sa Makati. Tapos yung iba naman, hihingi ng 700. Tapos yung iba, hihingi ng mga, ng mga 1,500. Sabi ko, ano ba yan, kuya? 200, 250 nga lang ang binayad namin papunta dito. Nagsinungaling na lang ako para, para isakay nila kami. So, puti na lang yung isang ta driver taxi. Sige, ma'am, uh, 500 na lang. So, siguro wala rin siyang pasahero na makuha. So, binayaran ko lang 500. Ihatid kami doon sa ibang mall. So, sa sa power plant mall napakaganda guys dito sa Makati so hindi ko namin na realize ko yung malapit lang pala dito sa hotel namin so 15 minutes walk lang so ang ginawa ko bumili na lang ako ng ng tuna macaroni salad so gusto daw i-try ng asawa ko so bumili na lang ako so sliced pineapple para sa kanya yan tapos guys favorite niya yun kumain ng late chip lang. Lagi ko kasi, lagi kasi ako gumagawa sa kanya. So, nakita ko to sa supermarket, late chip lang. Yan, 140 pesos lang. So, binili ko na lang sa kanya. Tapos, bumili ako ng buko. Tapos, yung nuts niya. May nag-just mo sa nuts. Hindi ang kakain pag walang nuts. Tapos, syempre, meron akong natirang mango. So, kainin ko to ngayon with noodles. Tapos, bumili na rin kami kasi wala kaming gamit dito sa hotel. So, I just buy a fork and spoon. Yan, a nice color, guys. Kasi wala kaming kagamit-gamit. So, nagutom na ako. Kasi sabi ko, ayaw ko na pumunta ng restaurant. Kasi sobrang mahal. Parang, parang kasi guys, ilang araw pa lang kami dito. Ang dami nang naubos. Sa taxi lang, yung araw-araw yung namin pang, pang alis, pang taxi, naka, naubos na yung 10,000 ko sa taxi lang. So, ilang araw pa lang. So, 19 kami dumating dito. So, ilang araw, ano ngayon? 23. So, ilang araw pa lang kami dito. Nakaubos na ako ng 10,000 for taxi only. Grabe, grabe yung mga. Kasi kada sakay mo, 1,000 kahihingi yan eh. Kasi pag hindi ka, hindi ka magbibigay, hindi ka na isasakay. Tapos, ang hirap magkumuha ng taxi. Ang hirap, wala rin grab. Hindi ka gaya doon sa Malaysia. Isang ano lang, yung makukuha, makukuha mo agad yung grab. Tapos, ang mura, mas, mas mura kaysa sa taxi. Pero dito, yung Grab, napakamahal. Mas mura yung taxi pag magme-metro ka. Mas sobrang-sobra mura yung taxi kaysa, kaysa sa Grab. Pero, syempre, wala kaming choice. Walang magawa. At saka Christmas ngayon, sa dami ng tao dito sa Maynila, uh, grabe, parang syempre, piyesta. <laughs> ba Sobra. Napaka, napakadaming tao, guys. So, kakain muna ako guys. Magbabalat muna ako ng mangga. Tapos, lagyan ko ng toyo at saka chili. Kakainin ko. Sige, see you.
Okay. Instant soup. Mmm. <laughs> had to put some nuts in there though. I had to put a few nuts in there to get it get you taste just right. With a little should be having macar lemon, not this macaroni, a little macaroni and some nuts in there. Yeah. See, you eat macaroni. Mm-hmm. Good. How's the taste? It's good. Yeah. Okay. You eat the noodles. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. So what's playable you know that should be? It's a beef, beef. bulalo, right? Beef with a, mm. a little added nuts I put in, mixed nuts. Give, good. A little, give a little more vitamins. Mmm, good. Oh, did you finish the, the macaroni? It's good. I never tried it before. Good. Ice cream, man. kami naglakad-lakad kung saan-saan tapos ngayon, kinuntinyo ko yung videos ko, ang vlog ko kasi, alam nyo ba naglakad lang kami, pagpunta uli doon sa, sa mall uh, yung pinuntahan namin kagabi tapos, anong ginawa namin, naghanap kami ng restaurant kasi yung mister ko, gusto niya kumain ng pizza tapos, hanap ng hanap kami uh, wala kaming mahanap tapos pagdating naman doon sa sa restaurant sa sa mga sa sa mall na yon sa power plant mall napaka parang mamahalin lahat doon so kahit yung mga kopi sobrang mahal doon tapos tapos guys ah, sabi ko punta na lang kayo sa ibang mall baka may mga pizza hut sila doon or ano tapos pupunta namin dito sa 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 mall na to dito ngayon kung saan kung saan kami naghanap uh, earlier wala rin kami guys mahanap tapos ikot ng ikot kami buong Makati dito sa sa Makati Avenue yata to wala tanong ng tanong kami sa mga tao kung merong malapit pizza hut dito or anong klaseng pizza tapos wala rin tapos guys uh, sa tinanong ko yung driver ng Grab sabi niya ay uh, meron doon uh, Ginger pizza yata, pero guys, ang daming tao, sobra, yung, yung parang, parang walang pizza dito sa Maynila, parang ganun ang pagkaintindi ko, parang grabe ang tao, grabe ang grab, yung pila ng grab, sobrang haba, sabi ko grabe naman to, kung, kung siguro, 
uh, titira ako dito sa Pilipinas, siguro mag, magpapatayo ako ng business ng pizza. Sobra ang, ang hilig ng tao ng pizza, ang hilig ng ng tao dito sa pizza. Kahit yung asawa ko, hanap ng hanap, hindi siya parang parang napagod siya kasi halos 10,000 step na lakad namin para maghanap lang ng ng pizza. Wala kaming mahanap. Anong napuntahan namin? Arab restaurant na naman. Tapos sabi ko, okay lang yan. Tapos ang sakit ng ulo ko, halos hindi na, halos himatay na ako sa sakit ng ulo. Sabi ng asawa ko, gutom lang yan. Kasi 3 o'clock na eh. Nag-ikot-ikot kami, wala kaming mahanap. Tapos, ayun, uh, napilitan na lang kami pumunta ng Arab restaurant. Tapos ang ingay-ingay kasi para siyang bar. Pero at least maganda yung food, affordable yung price. Kasi yung kinainan namin last night, dalawang shawarma lang, yung, ba, uh, yung wrap na chicken ang nabayad namin uh, 1,000 plus dalawa lang yun, tapos dalawang coke, yun lang ang na-order namin sabi ko, sobra naman tong napakamahal dito sa, sa Maynila iba't iba talaga yung price sa, ano, sa Malaysia at least dun sa Malaysia na yung, yung 20 ringgit masarap na yung pagkain mo magal 200 plus na yun dito sa atin pero dito yung isang order, grabe 500, 600, 700 meron man yung 200 plus, 300 plus, pero yung kukunting pagkain, halos hindi ka pa mabusog. Sabi ko, grab, grabe yung, ano, grabe yung pagkain dito. Grabe napakamahal. Uh, ewan ko kung, kung gaano yung, kasi sa tagal ko na hindi nakauwi dito, almost uh, 20 years na yata. So, hindi ko alam kung ano yung mga, kung gaano yung sweldo dito, kung gaano ba kataas, o compare ng Malaysia. Kasi sa pagkain, sa gastusin, Mahal talaga. Napakamahal. Hey guys, Merry Christmas. So guys, is and good morning pa. So so guys, uh, tinulungan namin yung kanina na picture. Tapos, anong ginawa nila? Binigyan kami ng gifts. Look at this guys. This is my... No, no. I received a gift for doing a good, a good deed by taking a picture of some folks. So guys, tingnan nyo. Uh, is Mark Spencer from the London. So... Let's open it. Oh, this is a biscuit. A what? Biscuit? All right. <laughs> My good deed. My good deed. Good deed. So, let's open the other one. I'm not going to help my diet, but all right. Yeah. <laughs> I like this quick though, with But my tea. This so kind, then you're not doing anything to them. You just help them to take pictures. Yeah, take pictures of... And then... They come back, give me a gift He come Christmas. back, give them the egg. Mm. Oh, that's really... You see a rock. Oh, something like... What they give us? What is this? Camomile fashion food. 20 tea bags. It's, I think this is a uh, tea. Oh, really? Oh, with, with the cookies? With the cookies. Tea for the cookies. cookies. Oh, yeah. They're always thinking. It's really good. Remember, that's really good. Thank you. So, anyway, guys, Merry Christmas to all of you and Happy New Year. And see that when you do things for others, you get benefits sometimes. Always, yeah. yeah. Or friends with benefits. Right? Yes, that's another good thing. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Have a happy New Year. I like my shirt. Like your shirt. Hey guys, hi again. So ngayon guys, andito tayo sa pupunta tayo ng mall, the power plant. Is it? Power plant. Power plant power mall. plant mall. Yeah. So we just walk from the hotel to coming With here because Filipino it's not Filipino shirt, that. Christmas shirt. Look at that. Look at that. And he... for Christmas, my Filipino Chris, yeah. Christmas. Yeah. He Merry got Christmas, a nice everybody. Size. Yeah. So today is a 25 just last Christmas day. Uh pero will be upload a bit late so ngayon nagwo-walk lang kami guys si ang ganda dito so walking distance lang to the to the mall from the hotel so it's really nice and it's quiet today it's not that busy hindi kagaya kahapon super busy kaya bumalik kami dito kasi ayaw namin pumunta ng malayo baka mamaya hindi makakuha ng taxi or busy walang taxi walang grab kasi christmas day di ba So guys, kaya ngayon pupunta lang kami. Tapos ngayon super greeny hills, beautiful. 
and that side nice that side or restaurant and bar but they close with the gate you know, yeah. a lot of security yeah a lot of security and over very there. safe here and because a lot of security expensive the cop everywhere it's extremely expensive houses over yeah. there so expensive house wow, over there yeah. look at that guys yeah Beautiful high birding there soon. Yes, I think, so. I think you're starting around 100,000 pesos a month. Yeah. So that's my Carbo, my Carbo with his Filipino shirt. That's right. So, gusto gusto niya yung t-shirt niya. Christmas shirt. Christmas, Christmas shirt. shirt niya daw, Filipino shirt daw. <laughs> Super nice. This is one of the nicer areas it seems like we've been in the last. We've been to, to the uh, Venice Mall, it was nice. But like one of the guys said, it was small. Um, as far as quality of malls, I would have to say this is probably the nicest quality yeah. that I've seen. Um, the, the other malls were nice, but they weren't. It, 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 quality wasn't. I, I didn't feel like the quality was there. I mean, it was just a big mall. And the quality was there, and the design was it there. Like, this is beautiful, absolutely. The way they've done it, the way that the quality of the materials, I would have to say, and the thought going into it, it's a real beautiful area. Obviously, it's an expensive area, which they, they threw money at. This is, it looks like the old where they had the military base, they, they tell me, um, years back, where the U.S., I guess, had a military base. That, you know, as you know, in the Philippines, the U.S. was here for a long time, had a big presence. Uh, now, mostly left. I don't know if they still have a base here or not. But this whole area, I guess, was, was part of that base. And they've got a mall, they've got it's, some it's office buildings, yeah. a lot of security, as you can see here. Security. Very, very safe. Well, this, the cop with the gun. Yeah. So you wouldn't want to do anything bad here. <laughs> Hello, Paul. <laughs> and uh, so, but what, the temperature's been really nice. It rained the first few days. It was kind of difficult. Got my umbrella just in case for later. <laughs> in uh, case for later, it's raining. You know, it just it looked case. like raining soon. Yeah, we were running in between spots. So, the other day but uh, uh today looks nice yes the other day it's been nice two or three days before christmas i guess this is our christmas yeah. gift is it's having some nice weather it's about 80 degrees guys if you're not in the philippines and uh and pretty nice it's a good day to just be on for a walk so we're gonna go find another coffee head one at the hotel and we're gonna go look, find another coffee and check yeah, out another coffee maybe we're going to starbucks this time or maybe not if I find some other place. I have, yeah. Starbucks, I have a, a little bit of a gripe with Starbucks. Starbucks overcooks its beans. And, and I understand you don't get the full <laughs> benefit of the coffee. That's just a personal thing, you know. And I, I drink a lot of Starbucks, and I was really disappointed in Starbucks, by the way. Starbucks, you're watching this. I'm really disappointed you're overcooking my beans. Yeah? <laughs> overcook the beans. Uh, overcook the beans so we don't get all the benefit of the coffee. What's yeah. up with that? Now, coffee bean doesn't do that. I don't understand. But anyways, that's my personal deal. All right, guys. Chat soon. It's a bar. Yeah. See, it's a bar. So, ang problema lang dito, guys, uh, dahil mahirap yung coffee shop hanapin, ang karamihan kasi dito, it's a bar. Uh, kasi uh, yung nasa Thailand kami so everywhere you can find a coffee shop here is difficult to find it and always a pizza restaurant or food rest uh, everywhere is a restaurant but the coffee shop is difficult to find it so except you're going to the uh, coffee bean or uh, Starbucks that's ang hirap alright going keep going cross the road cross the road crossing crossing so that's all restaurant bar so there is no coffee shop around here well it's not really coffee, it's a pizza. So you wanna go inside? Okay. Yeah, coffee, coffee. So dito na tayo guys. So tingnan nyo kung mga expensive materials here, luxury item. So ang ganda kasi ng mall na 
Dito kami sa bench. Bench. Bibi, eh? It's beautiful. Wow. So, guys, uh, maghahanap muna kami ng coffee shop. Uh, Kasi nag-ikot-ikot na kami dito, wala kaming mahanap, except maybe meron sa taas na coffee bean. Sa toto lang ayaw ng asawa ko kasi hindi naman gano'ng masarap. Gusto niya yung original talaga, a bean from the coffee shop, yung talagang breakfast na coffee. Pero wala ay ang hirap maghanap dito. So, I just gonna end my videos today. So, I think that it's for today and thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye! This is our uh, food court. Let's get out.